and wow. dressed up as the Mona Lisa of the North, aka girl with the pearl earbud. <laughs> Just kidding, girl with the pearl earring. But I'm dressed like this today because I am so excited to share with you a secret that I found out and not just any secret, but it is an ancient magical secret that all the master artists used to make their amazing artwork like the girl with the pearl earring and the real Mona Lisa. If you've ever seen those paintings and wondered, how did they do this? How do they make things look so beautiful and so real without even technology that we have today, like electricity? How did they do it? Well, guess what? I am going to show you the secret today. And since it's magic, we're gonna have to do a little bit of magic first, okay? Let me grab the secret. Okay, I've got it right here. Are you ready? All we have to do is say the magic words three times. Can you say the magic words three times? Ready? Here are the magic words. Camera, lucida. Can you do that? Camera, lucida. One more time. Great job guys. So here it is. It is called the camera lucida, which means camera of light. This is an ancient drawing tool. It doesn't require any electricity. In fact, the way that it works is it uses mirrors and glass to superimpose the subject that you want to draw onto your paper. So just oh. by looking in here, I can see the subject and draw it exactly the way it looks on my paper. So a lot of people think that a lot of the old master artists use this, and this is what helped them make their subjects look so realistic. I was actually able to use this one, the camera Lucy, to do a drawing of something that is pretty complicated. It is a flower that I have called an orchid and it made it so simple. I got the proportions accurate, I got the composition down, and it was super helpful. Today, we're gonna use the camera Lucy to draw one of the hardest things to draw. And what could that be? I think it's people. I love drawing portraits and I love drawing people, but a lot of times I get super frustrated when it doesn't look like the person. Well, using camera Lucy, we should be able to draw a super realistic portrait of someone and make it look just like them. So let's grab our sketchbooks, our pencils, and let's get started. Okay, so we are in the Art Rage studio and here I have my model. What we need to get started is, of course, our camera loop. So it came ready, easy to assemble. And all I have to do, since I'm right-handed, I'm going to be setting it up on the table on my left side. And so I just hook it right here onto the table. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then you can adjust this arm. So if you're sitting or standing, I'm just going to stand. And basically I'm going to direct it at my subject. Right now I can see the window. So I think I need to lower this a bit because I want to draw. Oh my gosh, now I can see him. Hello there. Now Rudy is going to have to sit really still, so he's going to watch TV while I'm drawing him because he has to stay in the same position. So do you want to look that way so you can watch your video? Okay, so I'm putting my paper directly underneath and I'm taking a look into the camera and I can adjust it. So I can adjust it so if I move it closer to him, It'll be bigger, but right now it looks pretty good. His head is at the top of the paper. His head is at the top of the paper and his shoulders go down to the bottom. I want to make sure I'm setting up my composition using the rule of thirds and making sure that it all fits on the page really well. So I'm just gonna lower it. 
Maybe if I get it close. I think we're ready to draw. Okay, now remember, can you stay really still, Ruby? Eternity later, three days later, twelve. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is the general outline. It's kind of shaky because it's moving around a little bit, but I am going to take a picture of him. Let's go back to where you are so I can take a picture of him. And then I can go in and add some details. First, let's say thanks to Rudy for being a good model. Thanks, Rudy. Oh, oh, oh.